Hello traders, uh, welcome to a new trading video. My name is Somi Aviagbo, um, market analyst at Greenwave Exchange. So I'm going to look at the major instruments, the S&P 500 and then the general risk sentiment in this video. So the general risk sentiment uh, since late last week has been tilted to um, risk on. So that means the risk assets have been able to uh, make some recovery, although the recoveries are quite very much small okay, compared to what, you, what we have seen. Uh, since april and as we can see from the sap 500 when uh sorry from the volatility index we can see that this index is moving within this range and when it touched air um last week uh, in uh, one of our videos mentioned that in fact most of our videos we mentioned that with the volatility index around here we might see um a, a, a change in sentiments okay which might be temporary or um or much uh or my last longer okay so uh currently vix is coming down and we might say come back to this zone here okay at the same time the you um the smb 500 is making important recovery as you can see here as well so in the last update we're looking at this uh corrective pattern here double zigzag w x and y right and then we mentioned that we wanted to see uh, a reversal pattern okay for us to confirm uh the low okay at this point and so we're able to get um, a diagonal pattern or a wedge formation which is uh, a very nice reversal pattern and so from the, since then we've been able to see um the index there's a 500 push higher above 4000 um for the first time in some days now uh it's been below five four four thousand dollars but now it's gone above four thousand dollars and then i think we might see it come back uh go as high as for the three uh four thousand three hundred okay maybe in a corrective move and then dump or it might just result into an impulse move breaks above here make a correction and then continue the bullish trend okay so it all out depends on uh, how the market perceive what the fed is doing uh the fed is tightening policies uh trying to um eject the money from the economy uh so that uh inflation can uh can be beat at least can can drop down uh to a, a manageable level okay but the market is um kind of fearful that the aggressiveness of the fed might result in um economic collapse uh might result in um economic uh, uh in a recession okay so so maybe the market is going to go away with that and then uh, trust the fed more okay in the coming uh weeks in the coming days and then um investors will now come back to other to, 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 to the equities market and then buy the lows and all that so um so uh that's it that's what i think uh, i think the s&p will at least go as high as for the three four thousand three hundred so uh before you now decide whether it's going to continue to go up or it's going to continue to go down but let's see uh we're going to need more or uh, more information of course so let's see how this goes all right but so far so good we've been able to see pattern complete air this is still a very nice corrective pattern and normally it's supposed to push uh far higher far 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 higher above uh, five thousand and all the four thousand nine hundred to a new high okay but it's very important that we also monitor what is happening uh, how the market perceives uh, the actions of the policy makers amid all the um events that are happening all around the world the lockdown in china the um the war in ukraine and all that so it's really very very important okay so uh conversely um the dollar is making a bearish move after breaking out of this triangle last week so price is coming down right now and i think this bearish move is going to continue to um if not 102.35 it's going to continue to um this trend line here which is around that 103 or thereabouts okay before any chance of pushing higher all right so it's also something to watch out for so for that bearish run uh today and maybe even tomorrow uh we uh we should be expecting on the dollar index and on the euro the euro might of course fly back to this um supply zone here which is just uh, uh which is uh, just below 1.055 all right okay so uh ordinarily uh with price completing this impulse uh but looking at this impulse it doesn't really look uh very much like the kind of impulse i want to see because 
the first two wave and the third wave they are almost equal just the third is just a little bit more than the first two and the fifth wave if that when that happens usually it means that the fifth the fifth wave is going to get extended so uh with that uh there is a very high likelihood that when the price get to this maybe around this trend line or maybe around this zone here that we're going to see a collapse so uh well with the dollar expected to go for the downside that doesn't really look uh logical at the moment but the market can always do whatever it likes and also don't forget the ecb might come out with some yeah dovish talk okay so that might which might then force the euro uh for the downside so watch for what happens here watch for what happens here any bear instructions there then for the decline could happen otherwise we should be able to see a three wave bounce to 0.065 at least all right uh so that's it now let's look at the dollar yen uh the boe uh the gen uh so far since last week has been used as has been gaining actually uh because um it's actually the best safe haven okay to look at that investor like investing in when there are chaos in uh in asia okay so like the lockdown is happening in china in the biggest cities in china shanghai is on lockdown and um so definitely the yen has been on the on the run to the upside okay across uh many of the major uh, assets last week many of the major currencies last week okay so before the change of tone this week all right so looking at dollar yen uh with the dollar expected to go down and the yen might still kind of uh push for the upside uh given the fact that yeah the safe even nature and what's happening in china so i still really do think that the dollar yen is going to continue to drop uh to 126 or even 125 okay in the coming days um so uh from the lot wave perspective as well we are just in the fourth wave uh which is expected to in fact it's expected to go much more further all right this w uh this x and then we might have another y something like this this kind of pattern that's what we're expecting here okay so the second leg is just is just about to come it's not yet completed yet as long as we see price breaks uh below the uh trend line that connects the uh this uh this leg yeah this bullish leg um then we should expect a further decline to 126 at least okay for the dollar yen uh of course that's a positive apply of price uh breaking above here yeah, all right yeah but i don't really think that's very much likely at the moment so the plan should be uh we'll wait for further decline and then look for bullish opportunity or uh when the price breaks below here then um look for bearish opportunities down to 125 and 126 okay that's the plan for the dollar yen and for the for the, for the dollar sweezy yeah we've seen this very big uh four hour candle break below this trend line which is an indication that the photo might just be on the way so i think we might see the dollars uh chf drop to um at uh, this start 8.2 percent retracement which is uh 0 0.9330 30, or maybe even uh, maybe if it's going to be shallow maybe down to 0 0.98 all right so look at between 0 0.98 and 0 0.9731 that's where i think uh, the dollar suizy could actually drop to before any chance of uh, uh for the rallies all right um so and then the dollar uh the pound uh dollar it's also getting uh it's also broke above this trend line we're looking at um in the last update we said that uh price is actually very very close to a bottom and so we drew this trend line and speaking that if price could break above it then we should see further rally so it's broken above it now and then further rallies has followed impulsive rally all right uh, so but there are barriers this uh we have 1.2639 uh resistance we have 1.27 psychological level and then we also have this um this supply zone which is just below 1.26 psychological level so those are the um the major barrier okay to this uh, up to this uh, bullish uh corrective run okay so if the price breaks above those levels uh then that means we should be able to see for the rallies to 1.31 that we can then maybe wait for some correction this way and then take it higher all right but if price um gets to maybe this supply zone here yeah, between this and this and then um give us a very very sharp move downwards then i think uh, for that decline could follow okay so it all depends on how price react around here okay but from here we should still see a further push uh, up to uh, 1.26 or 
this zone below it or this uh, level above it all right so that's the that's the plan for uh, the pound dollar and then for um the new zealand us dollar so we are moving now to uh, the high beta currencies which usually flow with the S&P 500 so with this F S&P 500 expected to go uh, higher we might actually see the New Zealand US dollar go as high as uh, 0 0.6550 in the last update also we talked about the fact that um, the New Zealand US dollar or the US dollar uh, might actually be uh, nearing the bottom so it seems we've gotten the bottom here so we don't know whether it's going to be a major one or just a minor one so price has broken upwards so i think we should see further rallies to 60 65 uh 67 okay at least a three wave bounce okay there is expected to happen all right and then the uh the news uh, let's look at the aussie dollar before the us dollar car so the same thing for the aussie dollar so we also saw this uh be able to see this break uh above this trend line here and the break above this uh, former supply a uh, demand zone okay um so now turns supply price has broken above it again and then it seems we're also going to see um rallies like this okay up to 72.70 or 72.50 all right for the new zealand US dollar so it now depends on uh, when price get there we'll see what happens uh, afterwards okay and then for the US dollar, Canadian dollar, uh, same thing. Price is dropping uh, impulsively after completing this impulse move rally. So I do really think that we are in, on the second wave uh, of this. So you might, might see some uh, minor recovery like this, and then price drops further to 26.50 or 26.53 uh, before any chance of uh, further move to the upside. Okay, so that's it. So all uh, generally now. Uh, we're still looking at further weakness on the dollar all across the board um, down to uh, that uh, the zone we, look, we talked about so that's it for me uh, uh, concerning the major currencies uh, this morning thank you very much uh, for watching this video I'm going to see you uh, in the next one